A foreign language instructor once told me a sad joke. What do you call a person who speaks three languages? Trilingual. And the person who speaks two languages? Bilingual. And what about a person who speaks only one language? An American. The Chabad Central Office often sends yeshiva students to remote places where there's no synagogues and small Jewish community in order to help Jews who are living there. I was once in a small town in the middle of America and visited a family there. While at their house, I had to call my mother. And their little daughter heard me speaking to her in Russian. Growing up in a monolithic English-speaking society, the girl was surprised. Why were you talking so strangely? I spoke Russian. You speak English, but I spoke a different language. I tried to explain to her. Why do you have to speak any language at all? The girl wondered. You just talk regularly like me without any language. The little girl did not understand that she also speaks a language. I often hear public schools should not teach any religion, but only morality. It sounds like a wonderful statement, but there is one problem. We know that I can accept something as the truth only for one of two reasons, either because it is scientifically proven or because I accept it as an article of faith. There is no third option. But if I take an object belonging to you and study it from a scientific perspective, nothing will tell me that it is yours. If I follow only scientific data, then the notion of private property does not exist. Private property and subsequently the prohibition of theft is an ideological concept. And since it cannot be proven scientifically, we can only believe in it, like in any ideological concept. And history knows many cultures that did not believe that everyone has a right to own property. Several of our previous videos also demonstrated that the modern Western morality is a system of belief that is not based on any science. And that's why all these concepts are just doctrines accepted on faith. People often think that religion must necessarily believe in some sort of God. But there are many non-theistic religions, religions that don't believe in anyone above. Modern secular morality can be justifiably called one of them. I recently saw an article by a Muslim leader explaining that Islam is not a religion. He said it is the truth. And he said that all other beliefs, including the modern Western value system, are religions. And the truth of Islam, he said, helps to regulate all other belief systems. This article reminded me of how the modern secular world describes its morality. They even use the same words. So Islam calls itself the universal truth, and it calls secular morality a religion. And the secular world calls its values as the universal truth, and it calls Islam a religion. And both of them make the same mistake as the little girl who said, don't speak any language, you just talk without any language like I do. I often hear how in the secular world people say the same thing as this little girl. Don't follow any faith, just follow moral principles like I do. So, in fact, what does the phrase religion should not be taught in public schools, only morality should, mean? A secular person who makes such a statement 
really says school should not be teaching any other belief systems besides for mine. It's an interesting thing. Christians in America do not demand that only their beliefs should be taught in every public school in the country. Neither do Buddhists. The only people who demand that all schools should be teaching only their beliefs and all the rest should be forbidden to be taught are the secular people. And I understand that this is because the secular people believe that their ideology is the best. But Muslims also believe that their ideology is the best. And our schools today are following the demands of the believers in secular morality. So what is the solution? The Lubavitcher Rebbe many years ago suggested that the schools should introduce a moment of silence. The Rebbe offered to give children one minute, 60 seconds, during their school day, when they can think about their faith. Jews can ponder in Judaism, other religions in their own faiths. Atheists can think of their belief system, whatever it is. The Rebbe said that the parents' task would be to teach the children what they should think about at that time. This way the school will not in any way impose any specific religion or ideology as opposed to what is it doing now and will allow everyone in silence profess their own faith. And if this will be done, then at least observing this, we will not repeat the same mistake that the little girl did.